Hi, it's Monday 10th of May and today is day one of my no spend challenge. So I told myself that when I lost my first stone in weight that I would treat myself to a big tall standing fridge. Um, because the fridge I have at the minute, it's a fridge freezer and the fridge part is just not big enough. I feel like I'm always cramming food in there. It's falling out at me all the time and it's just doing my head in. So I'm wanting to get a big tall fridge where I can put all my food in nice and neatly, all organised. If I want to put pre prepped meals in, I can organise all my little tubs. That's what I want to do. But to do that, I need to save some pennies. So this is going to be my challenge for while doing keto to see what I can eat from the house for as long as possible without spending or spending as little as possible. So for instance, the cream that I have in the fridge right now, that runs out, the, the date on that is up on Wednesday. And I could try and see how far I can go without the cream, but I do use the cream a lot. So I may have to buy like a tub of cream here and there, stuff like that. So, but the goal is to not go and get a big shopping in because I'd normally get an ASDA delivery on a Monday and I didn't get one this week and I'm aiming to not get one next week as well and just see how how much keto friendly food I have in the house and that I can use up and then at the end of it I can just go and do a shop and just get in the basics the stuff that I really need uh, and not defeat the purpose and go and get a big massive shop um, and use the money that I've saved uh, but that's the goal so I'm going to do daily updates on TikTok and this video will be weekly on YouTube Wish me luck. So today is day one of my keto no spend challenge. Details in a previous video. Today, the following images will show you what I've eaten today, what I've used from the house. Obviously it's easier today being day one. I suspect it's going to get harder as the days and the weeks go on. Keto no spend challenge day two. For lunch I had a three egg omelette, a little bit of cheese and a keto nutty bar I made earlier in the week and for dinner I had leeks and cauliflower rice fried in butter with smoked sausage. Day three keto no spend challenge and today for breakfast I had a slim fast keto rich chocolate with some banana Georgian skinny syrup. I'm off to pick up my daughter to take her to her baby scan, can I wait? And then I need to buy cat food because I can't not buy cat food. But hopefully I can resist buying anything else when I'm at the shops. In Asda, stuck to my goals, only picked up cat food and I got it for over a pound cheaper than the usual stuff. Oh, and that's me just getting lunch. So I just put some of these oomph, it's like kebab pieces in the free, in, from the freezer in the air fryer. A wee bit of mayo, two baby bells, an Adonis bar and my Rubicon. Just having some boiled eggs for dinner. I'm going to mix these up with some butter uh, to make chapped egg, that's what we call it here in Scotland. Although I'm finding that different people in different areas of Scotland call it different things, what do you call it? I'm going to have a wee cup of tea with almond milk later while I watch Catfish. Keto no spend challenge, day four. So today I've had a coffee, iced coffee for breakfast, that's all I fancied. And I had stuffed peppers with tuna at lunchtime. And for dinner, I had Greek yogurt with some homemade nutty keto bars topped with some squirty cream and maple syrup. And still, I have only spent £2.20 this week and that was on the cat food yesterday. So here's my stuffed peppers made in the air fryer. So this is my dinner, <laughs> don't judge. Uh, so I've accounted for all this in carb manager app. So I've had quite a bit of squirt cream but it's all I'm having for dinner so it's sort of like dinner and pudding all in one. So that's what I've eaten a day. So no spend challenge day five. Back in bed had tuna stuffed peppers again for lunch but been sick all day so I'm now gonna have the same dinner that I had yesterday because I feel like not eating is making me feel more sick. So again, it's just yogurt, some chopped up homemade keto nutty bars that I'd made, 
and some squirted cream with some sugar-free maple syrup. Looks yum. So there you go, keto no spend challenge, day five, done. And still have only spent £2.20. Going to shops tomorrow with my mum uh, for a wee cafe date. So I definitely have to pick up cat litter. So, so far this week, the only thing I've spent money on is the cat. Keto, no spend challenge, day six. So this morning I'm just having a mocha and I'm making a pot of pepper soup um, to try and make that last for a couple of days. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. So we're just back from Asda. Only spent £15, 13 pence. Um, so I had to get Toro. I had to get cat litter. But I had needed cream. Broccoli was 50p just so I can have some veggies. So I just got a bag of ice, but it was only like 80 pence. These were reduced to 34p. These were only 30p, but I needed these. And my almond milk. So I just got Asda's own make and it was like. 89p or something like that. My soup's all blended up and I've just added some red pepper flakes and it looks tasty. The soup's pretty good, you know. Well, day six complete. If I have a wee treat later, it'll probably just be a wee jelly. Keto, so, no spend challenge. Day seven, I'm having my shake for breakfast. Just painted my part of my back garden fence. I'm heading over to my daughter's to chill out for a wee while. But I'm taking lunch with me. We lunch in a jar, some mixed nuts, natural nuts, no salt, nothing on them. Two baby bells and two little mini pepper rammies. Cool. 7 o'clock and I'm back in bed, bloody headache back again, so I'm having another bowl of my homemade soup for dinner and this week I have spent a total of £17.30, something like that, and £7.50 that was toilet roll and about nearly £6 was cat stuff, so I've only actually spent a couple of quid on like, food shopping stuff, so that's pretty good going for week one.